Hello guys and welcome back to Karma Crypto. Today we'll be discussing about the most talked coin in this crypto world right now. Yes, the BitTorrent. Uh, we'll be demonstrating the entire aspect of how BitTorrent is functioning in this uh, blockchain technology, right from its uh, background, that is the protocol involved in it, what is the ecosystem, how the BitCurrent Torrent company was formed and what are the sub applications that are being used for BitTorrent and we have also brought bring you the BitTorrent expansion that is what is the project overview on why this BitTorrent has been introduced in this uh, cryptocurrency world. So there will be a lot of uh, interactive sessions here, we'll have uh, F FAQs, Regarding BitTorrent, uh, we are going to demonstrate a complete white paper of how BitTorrent is running in the background. So that being said, we'll start with the BitTorrent protocol. So what are the rules or set of rules for which the BitTorrent is running? BitTorrent is nothing but a pioneering distributed communication protocol. It was first invented by Bram Cohen in 2001. As a peer-to-peer -peer protocol, it facilitates the transfer of large or you can also say that it is the highly demanded files, eliminating the need for a trusted central server. So it is nothing but a peer-to-peer -peer connection. The BitTorrent protocol enables client software endpoints, that is the clients, to collaborate with each other to enable reliable simultaneous distribution of large files to multiple clients. So thereby reducing reliance of any single weak clients upload weak point. So it does this by attempting to make efficient use of every client's upload and download bandwidth to balance peer-to-peer -peer content delivery across all clients. Sounds amazing right? So to give you more clarity, what it actually does is to find a peer that has a file or portion thereof, peers either announce to a tracker, a server that keeps track of which peers have which files available or find them through the DHT protocol that is nothing but a distributed database of peers. Through this process, all peers are naturally segmented into swarms of users that is nothing but a group of users with every user in each swarm having a common interest in exchanging pieces of a specific file. So before an exchange begins, files are usually cut into pieces or you can uh, technically call it as fragments. Clients advertise which pieces of a file their user was available and those pieces are uploaded by users who have them and downloaded by users who need them. Cryptographic hashes or info hashes that is nothing but the hash mapping of the pieces are used to verify that the pieces being shared are the pieces that were requested. So the more pieces a peer receives from another peer in exchange for pieces sent, the more productive a peer-to-peer -peer interaction is considered to be. The most productive piece exchanges are rewarded with further pieces and the clients with the least productive exchanges are depreciated, disconnected or banned from the technology. So once the user has completed a download, they may allow their client to continue to upload pieces despite no longer needing any download in return. This is called seeding. The default for most clients is to seed to other downloaders. This activity, however, is entirely altruistic. There is no economic penalty for users closing their BitTorrent client once the download has finished. Now, let's talk about the BitTorrent ecosystem, that is the environment in which it runs. The BitTorrent, which maintains the BitTorrent protocol, the company's BitTorrent Incorporation, also created two of the most popular BitTorrent clients. So, what are the most popular BitTorrent clients? We have BitTorrent and uTorrent, the most used downloadable software. The open protocol has also been used to create dozens of independent clients and there is healthy competition among the companies and volunteers that maintain those clients. Independent BitTorrent infrastructure provides offer additional services such as trackers that introduce peers and torrent sites that index file metadata and provide access to their associated torrents. we know how BitTorrent is usually running in the ecosystem and what are its applications. Furthermore, before going into deep about how the technology uh, generates its own income, we have to talk about the company of BitTorrent. With over 1 billion users, the BitTorrent protocol is the world's largest decentralized protocol. 
its number of users far surpasses the Bitcoin. The second largest decentralized application is Bitcoin. In the last 18 years, the BitTorrent clients have been downloaded and installed billions of times. The two clients created and maintained by BitTorrent Incorporation are in use today by more than 100 million monthly active users around the world, with around 1 million new software installs every day. So, over 160 countries have more than 10,000 BitTorrent protocol users and 23 countries have more than 1 million protocol users. BitTorrent Incorporation clients account for an estimated 40% of BitTorrent protocol activity on the public internet. So, in 2018, BitTorrent formed a strategic partnership with Tron. So, Tron is nothing but it's another blockchain technology. We'll have uh, a video of this in the next episode of uh, Detail Analysis by Karma Crypto. Tron is a blockchain platform that was created to provide the foundation for decentralized applications. The collaboration between BitTorrent and Tron makes the Tron blockchain protocol the world's largest decentralized ecosystem and the BitTorrent protocol the largest decentralized application in the world. its applications, that is the distributed applications of BitTorrent. For more than a decade, BitTorrent Incorporation has been exploring distributed applications. We have investigated both adaptations of the BitTorrent protocol as well as the creation of entirely novel protocols with the aim of providing services including distributing messaging, BitTorrent based CDN, peer-to-peer -peer live video streaming and file synchronization and distributed web website hosting is also a feature of it. The recent emergence of blockchain technologies has shifted the paradigm of what is achievable. While many new decentralized protocol proposals suggest ambitious technical paths forward, almost all are silent on how to confront the enormous challenge of building critical mass, which is the technical crux of distributed systems. Some projects are addressing this challenge by introducing a cryptographic token to existing user bases. However, these projects lack the experience BitTorrent has in designing a protocol which balances diverse economic interests effectively and at scale. The BitTorrent ecosystem as the critical mass and BitTorrent incorporation as the protocol engineering expertise necessary to take advantage of the possibilities introduced by the blockchain. By integrating blockchain technologies into the BitTorrent ecosystem, we can enable the developers to decentralized applications on top of our existing ecosystem. Therefore, we believe that BitTorrent is the best equipped entity to create the infrastructure for the human decentralized world. To give you a further idea of how Bitcoin, BitTorrent is being rolled out in this world, BitTorrent's expertise and ecosystem could be used to realize the potential of blockchain technologies. So we have identified the key three insights of what BitTorrent can be. So internet users are reluctant to pay for digital goods and services they get online with fiat currency. So instead they pay with their attention, they don't use fiat currency. So that's what the BitTorrent has come to play. The BitTorrent protocol suffers from structural inefficiencies that limit the lifespan of swamps and thus limit its overall efficiency as a protocol. So it could not, it couldn't uh, withstand the capabilities. So another important point is there is a huge untapped market for the application of BitTorrent technology to use new cases. So the market has not yet been on a peak for most of the crypto world. The coins which come into the crypto world have are not able to withstand in this uh, dominant force of cryptocurrency. So. Since there is a large untapped market, we can use this BitTorrent technology in order to solve new cases and to you know, uh, encourage all the budding industries or uh, budding investors to get something out of, so they also get something out in return for them. I think all of the 
guys watching this video would have a clear insight of what BitTor and can be and what how efficient it can be in this cryptocurrency. Of course, BitTorrent is uh, the next big big thing because you know the people are using the uh, torrent application, you torrent for downloads. Uh, so Bitcoin is going to the big. So before diving into the deep analysis of how the blockchain and how the nodes of these BitTorrents are connected, we'll just have an overview of how this project was built. So to execute on the synthesization of these insights, that is the three insights which was discussed back in this video, we will create, we have mentioned to create for building elements of the decentralized web so that so once the decentralized web has been created so this will enable the app developers to directly reward their consumers who provide its underlying resources and enabling consumers to use this found value this found value is the one which they are returning to the consumers to transact with the publishers and app developers without the use of fiat currency that is the main thing there so instead of using fiat currency, they are giving something as reward, which is nothing but the BitTorrent card. So how this is going to be implemented? In order to implement a distributed infrastructure services economy, we will extend the BitTorrent protocol and introduce a new token. That is how this token came into place. That is the BTT token, BitTorrent token. Within the BTT economy, end users may offer infrastructure services in small increments in return for the tokens which they give. A blockchain solution will provide a store of value and medium of exchange that will scale to meet expected demand. So this will accelerate introduction of the platform by eliminating the current BitTorrent protocol inefficiencies with the launch of BitTorrent Speed. So this is the upcoming thing now. This will provide a strong attraction for the foundation technology as well as broad familiarity of the existence, user experience and economics of the token. The introduction of Speed will also prove the effectiveness of using blockchain based rewards for the provision of infrastructure services in small increments across a large install base. So this will be happening in one side. On the other side, we they will work with third party developers. Why is that? In order to create and promote the APIs and a marketplace for distributed infrastructure services based broadly on networking and storage primitives, which are underpinnings of the existing BitTorrent technology. So, these BitTorrent will also work with third-party publishers and the app developers beyond the existing BitTorrent ecosystem on which our services which consumers may spend their tokens on. So consumers will be rewarded with some and these third-party applications which are aside of BitTorrent will where they are selling or where they are using this token in a trade market or stock market they are using this to buy or sell any other stocks. So ultimately hundreds of millions of end users will be equipped with a robust means of deriving small amounts of value from the technical resource and will be able to spend that value on goods and services. So, here we have also outlined BDD around which we plan to build a new economy and present the blockchain technology on top of which transaction processing will operate. So Bitcoin will also be included. Then the Bitcoin will outline the proposed approach of optimizing the existing BitTorrent protocol with BitTorrent speed. Next, this BitTorrent speed will be operationalized with BDD. So finally, Discuss the generalization of BDD services which includes the people and describe the first three decentralized applications of the BitTorrent is BitTorrent with the main applications of BitTorrent speed, BitTorrent tokens, and etc. Now, with that being said, we are here to discuss about how this block 
blockchain of the BitTorrent token. Transactions or provision of services in the BDT and the BitTorrent ecosystem. It will be made available as a divisible token, allowing the granular pricing. So, due to the expected volume, direct use of the public Tron blockchain for all transactions is unfeasible. This might not be happening. Therefore, BitTorrent Corporation will deploy an on chain or off chain exchange. That is the main. Uh, mechanism they will be bringing into this, we will see in this in the later video in the next part. Exchange will enable the transfer of tokens between the high private ledger and the public Currency and how it is populating in this uh, crypto world. So, BitTorrent speed. So, the BitTorrent swamps suffer from structural inefficiencies, which frequently lead to the premature deterioration or death of the swamps. Swamps here includes the nodes. So, due to upload or download speed asymmetry, files frequently complete downloading long before appear as being equal to upload an equivalent number of files. Once the downloading peer as the entire file, there is no economic incentive to continue make the available to other downloaders through the CD. That means users leave these farms without even uploading as much data as they have downloaded which results in BitTorrent swarms not lasting as long as they need to. And, uh, but now this problem has been rectified and uh, BitTorrent is doing uh, fine in the market. We will actually discuss about it. So, we will come into the later part. In some cases, it is possible for a swamp to enable the completion of download even in the absence of a scene. This possibility is computed and displayed in some implementation as an availability metric. The program. Typically expressed as the number of distributed copies available. If there is at least one active non C peer holding each copy, then the file is set to be filed. Additionally, the vector protocol uses a design decision known as the rarest request, which dictates that a client should optimize requesting to download the pieces that are held by the previous peers. So, this mechanism is intended to flatten the distribution of pieces to decrease the likelihood of a swarm using a key pair or peers who are the sole providers of a requirement. While these two considerations mean that seeds are not strictly necessary to complete a download, research has shown that in approximately 86% to eliminate this problem, what are the solutions the BitTorrent has come? So BitTorrent are developing a new BitTorrent feature called as BitTorrent Speed. This feature will enable peers to offer 
each other cryptography participating BitTorrent and BitTorrent clients. It will add a new set of extensions to the BitTorrent protocol, enabling users to advertise their bits with a swarm and to trade BTT in exchange for continued prioritized access to seeds. The intended result is that peers will choose to seed for longer, leading to increased swarm longevity and faster download time for all swarm participants. What are the bits torrent speed and the BTT operations which are present? We'll just give you a uh, overlaying view of what are the operations and what are the parameters that are present here in this video. I'll wind up with this. So, the are the service discovery. So, the speed life cycle will begin, which peers discover each other through existing BitTorrent protocol patterns. Second is the initial balance. So, the air dropped to existing BitTorrent or BitTorrent users so they can bootstrap the small initial balance. In the future, BTT will also be purchasable through crowd sale and exchanges. That is a good news there. And the bidding grounds. Bits will be sent through a new BitTorrent protocol extension message to each peer that has at least one piece wanted by the service requester. The message will contain the number of BTT the service requester is willing to pay for buys. After winning a bidding round, a service requester must establish a crowd BTT balance with the service provider. This, they do this by placing some BTT into a payment channel between the service requester and the service provider. So the next parameter is bidding user tools. By default, bidding will be automated. Of course, everything will be automated. And from their own token balance on their behalf. We may enable user interface controls to allow users to toggle the feature, toggle it for certain torrents, adjust the spending rate, set a reversal price, or access grander control over the bidding process. So the next major thing will be automatic bidding feature and the matchmaking. The matchmaking is an important feature of BitTorrent. The protocol is a sharing algorithm called tit for tat using a mechanism called choking. The clients classify peers as either choked or unchoked. An example of choking algorithm might sort peers based on how much data for client has received from each one piece. The choking algorithm was last executed. The first n peers n is the number of unchoked slots of fixed value chosen by each client are classified as unchoked and the rest is called as 